Hey, it's Desi Chang and this is the 2018 Ultimate Camera Backpack and Everyday Backpack Review. These are just my personal and honest opinions. Uh, I am not biased towards any one of these companies. No one's paying me to do this. Uh, I've used each and every one of these bags the past six months to a year or more. And uh, I'll tell you what I like and I dislike about each one of these. So let's take a closer look. And if you like or dislike this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. So unfortunately, there is no perfect backpack. Um, every single bag has its pros and cons, and every single backpack has its um, better uses. You know, one's better for traveling, one's better for you know lugging around more equipment. Um, yeah, there's just uh, there's no perfect backpack, unfortunately. So what I'm going to do for this video review uh, is I'm going to break them down to categories. So the first one is I'm going to talk about the best budget. Um, camera, backpack, uh, everyday travel uh, bag that, that is available. And so the two that I have are these two puppies. Right here we have the uh, Low Pro Fast Pack 250 and retails for about 75 US dollars. And right here is the Incase uh, Pro, DSL, Pro DSLR Pack. Uh, this is about a little bit more, 150 uh, US dollars, but uh, I have seen this come on sale. I actually bought this when it was on sale for about 110 US dollars. So they're relatively inexpensive, but I think that these two bags are the best bang for the buck. And, um, yeah. So let's first talk about the low pro bag. Put that aside. Okay. So it's lightweight, it's durable, it has a rain cover, it fits a pro DSLR. The zippers are really, really easy to um, you know, move around. Uh, it has lots of pockets. You can fit a 15 inch extra or a 15 inch uh, uh, MacBook Pro. You can have a water bottle pocket. You can slot in a tripod. This bag actually does everything. It even has two separate compartments. Um, the top compartment you can throw in, you know, your lunch, snacks, um, other miscellaneous items. Whereas the bottom part is like the main part where you put your camera gear. Um, and you know, it's decent if you want to have like you know one camera and a few lenses. Um, this bag does the job. Uh, so I think that the best value bang for the buck bag is going to be this. It's it's lightweight, it's versatile. This is actually my third one. Um, I've had like the previous uh, original one. I've had the DSLR, the um, the uh, the video one, which is the all black one, but they discontinued it. And this is the uh, newest one that they have. So if you're looking for a backpack that is you know great for everyday use, travel, um, this is it. The next bag is the Incase DSLR Pro Pack. And I actually love this bag and I will never ever sell this bag because I think out of every single bag uh, that was on this table, this bag is the most versatile. It may not look the best, but it's a simple bag. It doesn't scream like, oh, it's a camera bag. It just looks like an everyday laptop bag. Uh, but I'll tell you why exactly I love it. Um, first off, it is back zip, which is great because if you have to set it down into muddy terrain, your back won't get dirty. The other thing I like about it is that it is side zip. I kind of find it annoying how sometimes like the bags open up this way. Um, it just takes up more space, but it's great. And if you look here, I can actually fit, um, oh, I'm using my, uh, the 5D right now to film this, but you can actually fit two um, DSLR bodies with lenses attached, have room for additional items, um, and not only that, you still have room for your laptop. And the great thing about this one um, versus like say, for example, the Peak Design um, Everyday Backpack is that once, once your bag is loaded, it's kind of difficult to get documents um, and your laptop out because it's pretty snug. But this is um, it's, it's actually quite spacious and pretty roomy, um, so I could easily slot in and out my laptop. Um, and as a bonus, it actually does have a quick access for your DSLR right up top here. Um, I know I wish it was a side access, but you know what? You can't have everything. Um, in addition to just having your laptop, iPad, and documents, it actually has a pretty deep compartment right here. So if you wanted to throw in a water bottle, a jacket, um, anything like that, you actually have a lot of room in this front space. And there's also another zippered area, which kind of goes all the way do down to the bottom as well. And right up top here, it has a nice padded place for hard drive or your sunglasses. So 
I would have to say that my number one pick overall of any backpack that had on the table, if you had to buy just one, is this, because you know you can load a, a small amount of camera gear or a medium to large amount of camera gear, um, and uh, you still have room for everything else. The next category, uh, which most of you guys are gonna be watching this video for, is the trendiest backpack. Um, these are ones that are featured on Kickstarter, Indiegogo, um, well, except for the Langley one, but, uh, but you get, you, get, you get the point. These ones are like probably the best looking bags um, out of the bunch. So uh, first off, I'm gonna talk about my least favorite one, which is the Boundary uh, Prima Pack. So I'm just gonna toss this one aside uh, quickly because this one, out of all the bags, this one is the no most noticeably uh, heaviest bag. Um, the second thing is that you can't really um, cram too much in there. I mean, out of all four bags, you can cram the least amount of gear into this. And it doesn't stand up right and it's just kind of annoying. I, I really, really wanted to love uh, this bag because when I saw it, I was like, oh, this, this is gonna be a great everyday bag. But it just, uh, functionality-wise, it was ha had a great concept, um, but it was just poor execution. Uh, even like the side when you uh, put in uh, like a camera, it's just not big enough for everything else. Um, so if you wanna see me do a detailed review about this, um, I did one and uh, you can see the link here, below, um, but yeah, I'm gonna toss this one out. Boom. All right, my next least favorite backpack is gonna be the Peak Design. So, again, it was uh, amazing. This probably was the most popular one on Kickstarter. It had over like a million dollars of, of backers, but uh, you know, had a waterproof shell, has all these cool knickknacks and tech specs and all these kind of things, but it just wasn't functional. I mean, this might be a great travel bag, which might, this bag will probably come back in my travel category, but uh, there's just a, a lot of small little things about it that I just don't like that, and don't make it that functional as an everyday walk around travel backpack. Um, and I think these other bags are better than this one. Um, if you wanna know why, I'll just go through some of a few specs. These bags don't stand up 100% because they're, they're empty, but with stuff they will stand up. Um, okay, so first off, you know, when I have it on, I have to access my equipment on both sides. So I'm a professional photographer. I'm not walking around traveling, taking photos, changing lenses on the go. That's not what I do. I go from one location to another location and I stop there and I shoot there. Um, so I'll, I'll have to put my bag down and access all my equipment. So with that, I mean, I have to unzip one side and if I have to change lenses, I have to go to the other side. Kind of annoying. Uh, the other thing is also these um, sternum straps, you know, you know, when you just click it in the middle, you will, they should have just stuck to it because now you have to kind of like look for the loop to kind of latch it on. Not, not the smartest thing. And uh, you know, they said, oh, these are really comfortable straps. Well, the $75 um, low pro fast pack is actually more comfortable than this bag. Um, the other thing is also for security, I mean, it's just way too easy for anyone to just open up this thing, latch and you know, reach inside and grab it. Uh, and also as an everyday backpack, I use my laptop every day. So if you actually have this bag loaded with camera gear and other essentials, it's actually very difficult, or it's not difficult, sorry, it's a little bit more snug with your laptop. And if you have documents, it's almost impossible for them to easily slip in and out of. So. Overall, this is not a very good everyday uh, backpack that I'll want to go to the coffee shop and easily access all my uh, you know, essentials. So, sorry, Peak Design. If you made a version two and kept it some simple things, it might be better. I mean, hey, maybe make, like keep your, your dual side access zips, but maybe do a full you know, back zip compartment opening so it can access everything all at once. That will be better. Um, but my, just my personal opinion. If you don't agree with me, that's fine. Again, these are just my, my own personal opinion. I'm a, I, I've worked with all of these bags and I don't like this one. Moving along. Okay, these two bad boys. Um, I love these two guys. They're uh, probably the two best looking bags um, that I own for camera backpacks. Um, this is the Langley Alpha Pro and this is the uh, Wandered uh, Provoke 31. This is actually discontinued. They actually have the um, uh, Langley Alpha Globetrotter. Uh, the only main difference is that it is front zip, front loading, uh, which is better because this one is kind of awkward. You have to kind of fish and grab your equipment. 
Um, but I really like this bag. It's, um, you know, it's just a simple design. It's kind of like, you know, those Herschel backpacks where it's just, it's just simple, um, but effective and useful. <laughs> it's not good if you want to carry a lot of equipment because I, as you can tell, uh, you know, it came with more dividers, but if you're carrying a DSLR, you could really just carry like a camera and like camera with a lens with like two additional lenses and you can stow some stuff on top. I, th I threw in a, an extra divider in here because if I wanted to put hard drives and things like that, um, you know, that's what I did. And um, overall, it's a decent bag. I like it. They could have improved. I mean, they do have the, the Alpha Globe Trotter, which improved on a few things, but uh, they're, it's still missing a couple things. Um, yeah, so I use this, I guess. These two are my top bags that I use on an everyday basis. So let's talk about the Provoke. So, love the look of it. It is back zip, which is awesome. Something that's annoying is you always have to kind of take off this magnetic strap to kind of open it, and you kind of access um, your, your two compartments. You can also access the top compartment via the little fold top here, and it's great because you can expand quite high. What I don't like about it is that uh, you can't really hold like a larger DSLR, like a 5D or D810, you can, but if you have another lens here and there, it's, it's kind of cumbersome to kind of take it in and out. So this is better for like a, a one camera with like, you know, one or two lenses at the most. Um, I think that they could improve on this bag if they made it a little bit deeper because if I put in like, you know, like a, a Canon 85 mil lens, uh, like the new one on here, it just kind of sticks out just a little bit. So if they made it just a little bit deeper, I think that would have been better. And maybe if they made this one side zip and open it that way, I prefer that way, just like the in case. Um, other than that, it's pretty comfortable. But I have one thing that they um, also can improve on. Is this is all like some kind of neoprene material. Uh, if you ride it on a hot day, or I went bike riding on a hot day, uh, you get really, really sweaty with this. So uh, maybe they should do some kind of mesh air ventilation instead of this neoprene material. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna go too in depth with everything else. But those two are my two favorite bags. The next category is what I think is the best DSLR backpack if you're going to be carrying a lot of gear. So over here we have the uh, Langley Multipack, we have the Lowepro Pro Tactic, and we also have the uh, Think Walker, or sorry, Think Tank Streetwalker hard drive. Um, so all three of these you can carry a 15 inch MacBook Pro or laptop uh, and carry a lot of gear. So I'll go through one bag at a time. So we'll push these aside. Let's start talking about the Langley. So I'd actually have to say this is probably the biggest of the three. Um, I like it, there's a lot of pockets. You can fit you know, your laptop, your documents. But the biggest problem is, well, two. Number one, it is front loading. So if you're gonna be out in the forest or anything like that, and you gotta set it down, well, and it's gonna be muddy, then your back's gonna get dirty. So that's one thing I don't like about the bag. It's very, very spacious, which is a great feature, but um, as you can tell, this bag has been worn and used a lot. Um, over time, the stuff will actually fall out, uh, which is not great because as you can tell, um, it's because it's worn, it kind of like spans this way. So when you're carrying camera gear, and whatever's gonna be at the top might kind of like topple over to the front, and I've experienced that, and some of the smaller lenses might actually drop down to like down here kind of thing. Um, it's good if you have big stuff that won't really move around, but if you have smaller, medium uh, lenses and smaller items like that, might not be the best. But uh, I love how deep it is, and I love how, uh, how much stuff you can put inside. So that's this one. The next bag I'm gonna talk about is the Think Tank uh, Streetwalker hard drive. So this is a version one, there is a version two with small, a few small changes, but essentially almost the same bag. I think this is the most comfortable out of the three bags. And um, I wish, again, it was back zip instead of you know, front loading, but it is quite spacious. I do have some gear in here, but uh, yeah, compared to the other one, this one's a little bit wider. Um, 
And, but the good thing about this one is your lenses don't fall out. The padded dividers are a little bit um, you know, higher and the front part doesn't kind of expand outwards as much. So if you're looking for a bag, it's gonna carry a lot more gear. I would highly recommend this bag, but it's ugly because it looks like a camera bag. So lastly, we have the Lowepro Pro Tactic 450. Um, so I would have to say out of all three bags that uh, this is the one to buy. It has the most uncomfortable strap, unfortunately, but despite that, I think it's the most practical uh, because it not only does it have, um, you know, side zip on both sides, it also has a top zip compartment to um, access your Pro DSLR camera. Um, and it is back zip as well, which is great. So then your back will not get dirty when you're setting it down in the field. Padded dividers, um, it's a little bit wider than the Think Tank, um, but uh, yeah, all three bags will, will do it justice. It just really depends on uh, what you're looking for. So if you're looking for the most comfortable bag, then go for the Think Tank. If you're looking for the best looking bag, then go for the Langley. But if you actually want the most functional one that has, you know, side zip and top zip and back zip um, and it's actually got a pretty pretty hard shell so I'd have to say it's pretty um, well padded then go for the low pro pro tactic 450 also the other great thing I love about it is there's so many additional uh, latch points if you had additional pouches and other places that you want to mount things it's got a bazillion places that you can do it so that's it so the next category is the best travel camera backpack um, and I'm gonna put these four as my uh, uh, options. And uh, I'll quickly kind of go through each one. I mean, the Low Pro, it's you know, inexpensive. And yes, it looks the most like a camera backpack, uh, but it's just, it's just very, very versatile. Uh, it's very lightweight, it's very easy to travel with. Um, so you know, that's gonna be a pick. Um, the in-case backpack, I've already talked about why I like it so much. And it's actually an all-rounder. It's great for everything. You can travel with it. You could use it as your actual camera bag if you're a photographer. Uh, you can use it as an everyday backpack if you're going to the coffee shop, going to your office every day. Uh, it doesn't look really much like a camera backpack. Um, so this is in the category. I'm gonna go with uh, the Wandered one because you can you know, throw one DSLR in there with a couple lenses, uh, but I love this roll top design because it could really, really expand, you know, up. And if you had lots of clothes in there, you could really, really cram it in here. And it's also, you know, weatherproof, waterproof. Um, so this is gonna be thrown into the mix. And finally, we do have the uh, Peak Design as a travel backpack. And the reason why I'm keeping it in there is because, yes, yeah, some people, they wanna travel around without taking their backpacks off and uh, you know, they want to access their camera and their lenses. Uh, this is the only bag really that's gonna be able to do both. Um, you can do that with the Low Pro Pro Tactic as well, but who wants to be carrying on a tactical backpack around town with uncomfortable straps? So these are my top four choices. There is no real winner because again, this is just all personal preference um, for your travel backpack. So yeah, these are the winners. The final category of today is the best everyday backpack. And unfortunately, I'm not gonna tell you which one that is, is because I use them all. Um, the best backpack is gonna be the one that you have and the one that you really, really, really like. So uh, just find you know, whatever works for you and I would totally suggest that you go to you know, a camera store, uh, try them out. Even like a North Face backpack is, is a great bag and you can just put like a camera insert into it to make it become a cavern, camera travel everyday backpack. Uh, so, yeah, the best one is the one that you have. And that's it for the 2018 Ultimate Travel Everyday Camera Backpack Review. Uh, I hope that uh, what I've shared with you today will help you make a decision on buying uh, what you think will be the right camera bag for you. Again, there is no perfect bag, and these are just my own personal thoughts and opinions. And uh, yeah, I've spent a lot of time with each and every one of these bags for the past six months to over a year. So I think I know what I'm talking about, uh, and I know what I'm looking for um, as a professional photographer. Um, yeah, so if you like this review and you want to see me do more of these, uh, it would help if you liked or disliked. And definitely don't forget to follow me on uh, Instagram at Desi31. I'm Desi Chang, and thank you so much for watching.